Hey everyone, my name is Ben Heisch, and as I was kind of like making a list for the dads in my life, as well as thinking through things I was either wanting or whatever for Father's Day, uh, I thought about some of my friend's products and some of the things that I've picked up recently and just figured I would make like a quick video in case there is a photo enthusiast dad in your life or even someone that's not really into photography that much. Uh, a lot of these things are also more lifestyle-y, uh, but some products and things that I really enjoy. A few of the things that I have been uh, either gifted or um, have bought myself, lots of different kind of combinations of things, but all things that I really, really enjoy and uh, think might be good gifts to pass along to the other dads in your life as well. So I'm gonna go through a few of my favorite things sort of here. I'm gonna lay this down so it doesn't keep <laughs> rattling and uh, we'll get moving. So if you're interested in any of these products, you can definitely go check them out in the description down below. So the first uh, thing as the only actual camera that I'm gonna even consider recommending <laughs> in the bunch is this Ilford Sprite 35 II. Now, disclaimer, I have not actually gotten the film back from this yet, so it might suck, but this thing is just like super janky plastic, but it's 35 bucks. It's basically a reusable, disposable camera of sorts. Uh, it takes, uh, I believe a triple A battery has just a simple flash thing. So it charges up after a little bit. Now the flash is ready. You can see it by the little red illumination there. Like a, you know, if you guys have ever used like those disposable Kodak cameras back in the day for like a school dance or something, um, this gives you that same kind of nostalgia, but then, you know, I'll just take a picture cause why not? And then you have to do the classic wind to advance the film. You have to turn the, the flash on and off. It's just kind of like very, very nostalgic. But overall, it's just a, a really cool camera that I'm assuming is gonna give me some really kind of, I don't know, retro results. So if you're considering buying a film camera but don't know where to go, oops, I just took another photo. That probably cost me a couple dollars. But if you are looking to get a film camera, you can pick this up brand new for 35 bucks. So, you know, even if you only roll, run a couple rolls through it, it'll still probably be worthwhile. And then it's just a fun thing to bring to parties and friends things and whatnot, and gives you that kind of nice nostalgia. Now, um, since we have this on here, I might as well add it. This is a wrist strap from Clever Supply Co. They're definitely my favorite single camera strap company. I made a specific video about their straps. This is the wrist strap. Um, which I really, really like that has the Peak Design hardware. I'm just kind of obsessed with putting that Peak Design stuff on everything. So, you know, it's just like a good wrist strap for something like this. Um, makes it so you're not gonna drop your camera or have any issues in that way. Might be kind of a cool little thing to get. Um, and it also, it pairs well with my car keys. So I've added the little Peak Design thing here and have just been using it for my car keys as well. So um, kind of nice if you want something a little bit bigger to kind of just use as you know something to grab and whatever. Um, oftentimes if I'm photographing something, I will put this on there and put it in my bag and everything just so it's easier to know where the keys are and bigger to grab and all that kind of stuff. Basically they're harder to lose. Um, so it's been nice to kind of have a dual use strap for that kind of thing. So. Overall, definitely love the strap and um, highly recommend all of their stuff in that way. Um, moving on to another sort of piece of tech that is attached. I'll just keep rolling with stuff that I'm already kind of grabbing. Um, are these Apple AirTags? So if you are an Apple user, uh, I've used Tile in the past, but have just been waiting and waiting and waiting for these AirTags and have been really, really stoked on them so far. Um, they are basically like a Bluetooth tracker that uses all of the other iPhones and lots of their Apple devices in the network to kind of ping locations for it. So like me, I leave my car keys in random spots all the time. And so being able to get on my phone and find where these are um, has been really, really great. So really, really like this. I've also added them to my card case here. So this is an SD card case from Clever Supply Co as well. I wasn't going to hit on this now, but I might as well. So basically what I use this for is like the cards 
day of that I wanna keep on my person or in my bag or whatever. Usually I don't use more than five because that's kind of a lot. And so I've added the AirTag as the sixth. And then if you have business cards or something like that, uh, maybe you have a parking slip or something like that that you need day of. Just a really cool kind of classier way to carry your memory cards. So I often put these either in my back pocket or another bag that I'm using or something like that because these are always on me because if I'm shooting something, the memory cards are the most important thing I have. But yeah, pretty stoked on it. It looks a lot cleaner and nicer than the other card cases I have been using. Uh, but I do like having both the hard case and this kind of nice softer case to add. Um, continuing back over to the iPhone land, you can also see that I've added the actual <laughs> Apple AirTag keychain thing. It was definitely more expensive than I wanted to spend and I've bought cheaper, you know, third party versions for other things, but I just figured my keys, I'm gonna use them all the time. I'm gonna be seeing all this all the time. I would just wanna have a nicer one for my personal keys. Um, and it also, I knew it was going to be the exact same leather as the wallet case that I have for my phone. If you have an iPhone 12 series, either the 12, the 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max, 12 Mini, any of those things, they all come with the MagSafe stuff. And this little wallet is actually just really, really cool. I've just been sick of bringing huge wallets around so this fits realistically two cards, but I use three often. And so just having it on there, it just sticks on, makes everything really, really easy to carry. So that's kind of the reason why I've added both the AirTag thing and this, just because I wanted to have things matching and looking kind of good together. So uh, you can definitely buy third party versions of both of those things, but my kind of take on things is if it's something I'm gonna use every day all the time, I'm okay with spending a little bit more money to get, you know, the right one. Rounding out this little setup, so if you do have an iPhone 12 or any of those series, uh, Anchor, which is a company that makes a bunch of battery banks and things like that that I actually trust and use for a ton of my stuff, made a MagSafe style magnetic battery that just pops on to the back of your phone. So it's on there. It definitely adds a ton more weight and space and everything like that. But I will say that not having to plug it in and have something like dongled up to another battery bank or something like that, uh, having this just be on the back of it, it's still comfortable enough to use. Obviously, you're not gonna pocket it like this, but overall, it's just a really, really good setup. Um, if you need a quick charge for a little bit, you can just kind of plop this on and you'll get a little bit of juice. It's not like the best situation for everything, but when I'm traveling or I'm shooting or something like that, having a small thing like this that I can just toss on if I need to add a little battery boost has been super helpful. Now moving on to the uh, kind of traditional dad type things. Uh, I bought this Stanley flask just a long time ago um, and I just remember my grandpa always used to have Stanley like thermoses and, and all that kind of stuff. And they're relatively inexpensive. I've given these as gifts to other people in the past. Um, you know, they're just gonna last forever. Um, and they are just kind of like a good old fashioned classic kind of dad thing to get someone. So uh, inexpensive, still really cool and will be classic forever and ever. And on top of that, if you wanna go a little bit more hardcore, uh, this flask by Miscellaneous Goods Co. is just a really, I mean, it just harkens back to, I don't know, like the Prohibition era or something like that. I believe it's like porcelain and it's got an actual cork and stuff. So if you want to feel a little bit more maybe classy about your uh, bourbon or whatever your alcohol of choice is and you're gonna bring it to something. Uh, obviously this kind of thing just looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and is, uh, I don't know, just, you know, your typical hipster kind of thing. Definitely a cool little thing there. Moving on to another little white piece of gear that I really, really enjoy. Uh, it's this film holder from Kodak. I often just throw mine in plastic bags and everything, but it's nice if you're going on a little trip or whatever and you only need maybe five rolls or six if you include a roll that's in your camera. I don't know, just a cool case and I really like physical goods like this. So 
I'm probably gonna end up picking up another of the larger versions soon so I can kind of incorporate more film. And so if you have a film buff in your life uh, in terms of film photography, would be a cool little gift to pass on in that way. Then also, I mean, these straps again are the camera straps that I use for just about everything that's not dual carry. Uh, anyway, if you wanna support my friend Todd and pick up one of these straps, uh, they are amazing and will last a long, long, long time. And yeah, I'm just a big, big fan of them. And obviously you've seen me talk about them in the past. And if you are someone that likes to uh, dual carry or use two cameras at the same time, especially for event work or weddings or anything like that, even for portrait work, I still use these as well. Uh, these are the Holdfast Moneymaker straps. You can tell that uh, I have the black versions and the ones that also match the color aesthetics that I happen to love. They are amazing. I would not shoot weddings without them. They uh, just allow me to be really hands-free. And honestly, the reason I thought of this as well is just because I actually got my first Holdfast Moneymaker as a gift. And last, if you wanna spend a little bit, this 50 millimeter from TT Artisans, uh, whether you are you know, shooting some other mirrorless camera or in the Leica system, I believe it's like $369 or something, and it is one of the best lenses that I've ever used for the money. Even without for the money, it's just a really, really good lens. It just happens to be under $400. And so if you're just looking for a good kind of vintagey feeling, but still really sharp 50 millimeter lens on any sort of mirrorless system, or especially the Leica system, this is a great purchase and definitely would recommend this quite a bit. And finally, if you want to support me and and make your digital images look a little bit uh, better and have better skin tones and all that kind of stuff, you can check out my Cascade presets, which I've spent a ton of time making and obviously highly recommend them, seeing how I'm the one that created them and used them. They work on all sorts of cameras. I tested them on over 70,000 images before I first used them and have definitely used them on a, at least 200,000 since then. Um, so if you're, again, interested in some really, really quality Lightroom presets that I want 100% stand behind. You can check those out, my Cascade presets in the description down below. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you don't wanna get your dad a grill or something like that, I got a pellet grill for Father's Day and I'm pretty stoked to smoke some briskets later. Uh, but if you're interested in buying any of this kind of stuff, I uh, just thought I'd throw it out there because yeah, a lot of this stuff has been gifted to me as well, or I've gifted some of the other things to other people. And yeah, wanted to support my friends who have made some cool stuff as well. And maybe even let you know about some things like these batteries and uh, just some other cool ideas that I haven't seen people talk about before. So thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up if you are interested in more of this kind of stuff. And I will see you on the next one.